Has the largest Chinese population among all Malaysian states. Penang Hokkien has an accent of Changzhou Hokkien, as it is originated from Changzhou Samto Hokkien, spoken in Samto area, Fujian Province, China. First ever Hokkien who came to Penang were the Kus. Uh, we actually in, um, have um, submitted a proposal to the Ku Kamsi uh, Board of directors before and uh, before that we actually did some homework to discover that um, the first Hokkien speaker in Penang could have been a cool person um, but um, that is only based on some documents that we were able to find and um, the um, Hawkins actually came to Penang about some 200 years ago when Francis Light, Captain Francis Light came to um, establish Penang. A lot of um, we would say Kuli from China and India and um, from China, most of them actually came from the southern part of the country. Penang Hokkien has long been identified with Penang, where almost everyone speaks the language, from Chinese who are not Hokkien to non-Chinese. <laughs> ว่าจําหลังอ่าจําจําเป็นอยู่ในความมันๆโอ้อ่าเอาบุกกิจัดแจ้งนี่จําหลังจําน้องจงอ่ะต้องอ่ะโมไว้เพราะน้องจงจํา
啊，因为伊人厝内外国华语，伊父母外国华语，啊，上到我孙嘛是袂晓讲。那我对来，我就我对来是，甲我讲学电话时，一排咯，伊讲拢国语，我就我听。In school, we actually ban from speaking Hokkien in school grounds, especially in Chinese schools. I'm sure you know. And、um, we have、um, always been promoting the use of Mandarin, and we call Mandarin the Chinese language for、um, to actually for Chinese people to stay united. And I do not、uh, disagree that we need a common language among、um, our own community. But I do not agree that we need to give up anything. And unfortunately, a lot of people, since especially since 1980s, a lot of people have、um, started giving up on Hokkien, and、um, because they were banned from school, and、um, a lot of people saw a better future, a brighter future, if their children grow up speaking only English and Mandarin. The community, who concerns of Hokkien speaking, organizes various programs and activities to revive Penang Hokkien. A lot of us from different backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds, from different、um, ancestries in China, happen to call ourselves Penangite, and、uh, we immediately is associate Penang Penangites or Chinese Penangites to the use of Hokkien language. But that is not happening today. We hope the next day when we wake up, this familiar sound. Still can be heard in the streets of Penang. <laughs>